Today, I'll show you how to save valuable space on your SSD or your hard drive using a simple free program. This program will work with most files, especially game files. I use Skyrim mod list folders as they are huge in size at over 250 gigabytes. So on the agenda, I'll quickly show you the program in action. Then we'll slow down and we'll go through the process of downloading, installing, and setting it up. So here's the program in action very quickly. Don't worry, I'll slow down as we get to the later parts. I just want to give you an overall bird's eyes view. Open the program, click on the little search icon, find the what folders that you want to compress. You press select. Now all you have to do is press the compress size and then you just select through the options that they have, press compress and you just wait and that's it. Go grab a sandwich and you're done. Okay, now let's slow down so we can go through all the process of setting everything up. Okay, so installation, you're gonna go to the GitHub website. It's a very, very safe website. Uh, developers use this quite often. I'll leave links in the description for you so you don't have to type it out. But once you get to this website, uh, just make sure you're on uh, the compact GUI. Navigate to the right hand side here and you'll see the releases. Click on one of that for the latest version. Then we'll go down all the way down and we shall click on one of the compact GUI.exe. Okay, we'll just put it on the desktop folder anywhere and then we'll pick save. Takes a few moments. So let's double click on the program that we downloaded and you'll get this screen here that's telling you Windows protected your PC, you know, prevented an unrecognized app from starting and you know, you'll see the unknown publisher. And the reason for this is beyond the scope of this video, it's a long discussion, but the long gist of it is that this is an unknown publisher uh, because there's no digital certificate and now it's considered an unsigned program. So in order to stop this from com coming up on the user screen, the developer has to buy a digital certificate. For me, and I've always done this, I just press run anyway. You know, no developer will be hiding code that's really malicious inside here where everybody can see and have access as long as they understand the language involved and used in here and this program is has been very safe i've been using it for a while and many people have to so once you're done with that you're going to press the download now for the net runtime just to install this it'll take you to the microsoft site desktop press save all right, we'll double click on this to install the runtime. Press install. Press yes. Okay, successful. We'll press close right now. Now finally, we can run the program. So before we do anything, let's go ahead and click right click, go to properties, just to make sure uh, the size and the on disk to see what it comes up to. Okay, if you notice here, it just says size is here, 194 gigabytes, and size on disk is also 194 gigabytes. We'll go to the compact GUI and select the target folder and find where your files that you want to will be. Here's the folder that I want. We'll go ahead and select it. We'll let's go ahead and press the compress button. Now, I usually just select either 4K or 8K. And if you hover over here, it'll tell you uh, which compression that you want to use. So I usually just do 4K or 8K. And you can click the skip poorly compressed file type if you wanted to, because some files don't really compress all that well. And this is the skip user submitted file types. This is a sort of beta. This is going to be up to you to decide. And I don't need to watch folder for changes because this is just one time for me. And then that's it. Go ahead and press compress. It should take quite a, a few moments. You know, meanwhile, go grab a sandwich or, you know, do whatever you want. Use a restroom, because I gotta go. Now, in the previous section, we saw the size was 194, right? Both on size and size on disk was 194. But now, if you take a look, it's 194, but the size on disk now is 148. So the compression has been successful. Now let's go ahead and go into this folder so we can actually run it and see what's going on.
Okay, and we are loaded into the game. That took about 7 minutes and 30 something seconds. Oh boy, there we go. Yeah, everything works fine. Everything seems fine. There we go. Yep. Go ahead and go ahead and try out the program. I'm curious to know your results. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe so I know to make more videos somehow. And uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time. Come on, I'm not done with you. When Once I shut down this...